Alright, so starting from the top, she has a standard one jab. Uh, I should do a little review of what I know about Lily, right? Like I usually do. What I know about Lily is that fuck Lily, alright? So I'm starting from the top here. Her one jab is a standard 10 frame one jab. 10 frame startup. Plus one on block, plus eight on hit. We know that, alright. A standard one two. Negative one on block, but hers is actually still plus eight on hit. Which is nice. I don't know if she has a better 10 frame punisher than her 1 2. So 19 damage plus 8 on hit. And she's still pretty much up in your face. So that's good. And then we have two extensions off for the 1 2 series 1 2 4. Which I used to think was plus on block because of that animation. But it's actually negative 9 on block off of this string. Now it says on RB Norway negative 9 to negative 4. Because that has a lot of active frames in the end. But off of a 1 2 string, you can pretty much count on it being negative 9. If not negative 9, then negative 8. And then she has 1, 2, 3, a low follow-up. Now, if you want to be some gormless motherfucker, like a lot of Lily players like to believe, you can act like this is some amazing-ass mix-up. You can only delay the mid. Not even that much damage. So the mid knocks down, at least it's safe. The low, it's negative two, I thought it was plus. Negative two on hits, negative 13 on block, and it knocks down on counter hit for a free follow up, unless she can pick up. I don't think she can. She can't recover crouching. That looks like it's guaranteed. I don't know how to do her stomp. She has to stomp, right? All right, maybe she should just do Matter Matterhorn for 18 damage. Yeah, that's good damage. That knocks him away, but that's still really good damage. Unless she has something better. Nope. I was hoping that could do some sort of weird-ass cross-up kind of thing if they were to get up. 4-4-4 four, 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 stop. Rune of Evil. Thank you, by the way. Okay, that's not... If it is guaranteed, it probably won't do as much damage. Yeah, just do Matterhorn. Matterhorn. Same damage, and you won't fuck it up like I just fucked up that 444, assuming that is guaranteed. I thought she had like a standard stomp. Like, I thought she had a way to do that stomp without that extension, but I guess not. Oh! If the, if the second jab uh, counter hits, then that low is guaranteed. That's not the case for the 1-2-4, though. Alright. Defensively. Huh. So does the low track. I've always wondered for the like the low tier Lily players that mix this up. Okay. Okay, it might be the speeds might be too similar for me to OS this. But here's what I will say. If you guess mid, sidestep. Don't block. Sidestep. Can't jab her, that's for sure. And then if you guess low, low parry. Unless you're a character that has a 13 frame while standing launcher. That's 13 frames, I think. That's not a launcher, though. What's up, Rojo? I just started, Rojo. Unfortunately, I just started right when Aris started streaming. So, I imagine I won't get too many people. So, I've just started by talking about the jab series. And already, defensively, I could already tell you. If she goes mid, just sidestep. Either way, apparently... But this is Lily that I'm using, so you, you would have to check with your own character as far as anti-Lily stuff is. But if you just tap a simple sidestep, you get her rear, basically. And then you do whatever the back, you know, your back turn string is. And then if you're going to guess low, commit to a low parry. Because they, they seem to attack on the same frame. I don't think there's a window...
Maybe there is. You know what? Alright. Visually, to my old man eyes, it does look the same. But... <laughs> You could totally, you could totally OS as long as you're clean. Cause I'm not delaying the one two four at all here. Of course, I think you can also jab her out of it, right? Yeah. But I wouldn't answer it with a jab, cause then the low's gonna counter hit you, and then she gets the free follow up. See? So don't answer with a jab. But since that gap is there on the one two four. I'll re-record that just in case. See? Not holding it at all. Yeah. So that gap is big. That's a big gap. So you can just jab her out of that shit. If you really wanted to. But if I were, if I really wanted to get some sort of big reward. I would totally just uh, sidestep. Because the low on normal hit is not a big deal. The low on normal hit is, what is it, 10 damage? So, the thing is, the OS will keep you safe from the mid, but she's still safe. And it'll give you the low parry. So that's cool, right? Maybe as a round ending option, you could use that OS if people are trying to use this to end the round. But if you, in the middle of the round, if you want to re-mid and punish mid hard, then risking a sidestep only to eat 10 damage is not a big deal. You don't even need a big uh, sidestep, I think. So, a homie move won't hit you either. You don't have to commit to a heavy sidestep. And then, in this instance, you'll be at her side. So, you gotta, you have to realign yourself with like a dash to punish that on reaction. How fast is that mid hit? You can, can you magic for it? doesn't matter, Rojo. Don't worry. Don't interrupt it. The moment you see jab, just jab. You know, if you go for anything slower, all you're doing is, is giving yourself less frames to react. Unless it's a giant gap. See? She beat out 13 frames. It's not a big gap. Just jab. If you really want to interrupt, just jab. I would not recommend interrupting. There's no reason. All you're doing is giving a better reward for the low if you interrupt. There's no reason here. You low, pa you low parry into stand block OS. Or if you want to punish the mid sidestep it. That's it. Keanu Reeves, isn't that Nico? No problem. So yeah, don't bother. So that's that low level shit, right? As far as offensively, it's always nice to have extensions off of jabs. But since the mid is interruptible, then 1 2 4 isn't that great. I mean, I'm assuming that's why it's safe. Usually, if it's not interruptible or it has some sort of counter hit property or both, they'll make it unsafe. Like Bob's 1 2, 1 plus 2. Uh, but not always. Like Brian's 1 2 1. Or, uh, but Shaheen has 1 2 2, but it's unsafe. They're pretty selective about that kind of shit. One, two, three is the good extension, in my opinion. Because then it gives you an uninterruptible move with counter hit properties that isn't absolute death on block. Sure, it could be low parried, but you know. The whole idea is to have something to augment your one, two pressure. Because her one, two is thankfully at negative one. So she could still move around and kind of do whatever the fuck she wants after her one, two. All right, so that's all the jab strings off of one. Now we got two. Her standing two is uh, 10 frames also, so it's basically like a jab. Is that right? RB Norway says 10 frames. Hmm. Is that right? Uh, let's see something here. 12 frames for her four. I guess it is 10. Alright. No problem, man. So I guess this is actually her 10 frame punish. For some reason, I used to think that was 12 frames. And that's why when I was just messing around, I saw that it only did 28 damage. I was like, that's kind of low for 12 frames. But I guess 2 4 would be her 10 frame punisher. Unless this is wrong. 
Uh, but it is a high high. And uh, it's only negative two on block though, so if they don't duck it for whatever reason. It's pretty good to know she could still sidestep after. Apparently the four has a lot of uh, active frames, so it could be as good as plus two, which is like it's part of a string, so that doesn't mean as much to me personally. I don't know. I don't know how you can make that work as far as the active frames go. Um, I guess what that does mean is if people were to duck after you two, and while standing too early, she'll she'll catch them. But whatever, fuck that. It's a tail spin move apparently out of the air. Let's see about a counter hit though. No, not on counter hit, but out of the air. If you were to hit somebody out of the air, you would get a corkscrew. And then she has two three, which is high low. So there's no mix up here. It's just natural combo. Two three is a natural oops, is a natural combo. Which seems to be a common thing for these highs into lows outside of like Jin's one down three because I guess that goes into a uh, third hit. They tend to combo a normal hit I'm noticing fairly often. Uh, hers does too. The low in this case also knocks down and it's also negative two. So essentially, and it's also 13 frame, uh, negative 13 on block, negative two on hit. So essentially it's the same thing as one, two, three. Same thing as one, two, three, except it's inputting two, three. Nina had something similar going on. But her two, four is a different move than one, two, four. Uh, all right. So I guess during block pressure, if you're using a two jab to pressure for some reason, which is totally re reasonable because her two jab is zero on block, apparently, plus eight on hit. And how can we find that out? Easy. Yeah, see, zero on block. Okay, so her two is definitely 10 frames. Now you know how to beat Lily. No problem, man. All you need to know is how to beat one, two, three, and one, two, four. That's all you need. Next on the list is... Standing three. Well, let me take a look at a two, three a little bit further here and two, four. So of course there's no tracking but the second kick will track you if you try to step but it doesn't have any counter hit properties obviously oh okay obviously it doesn't jail no surprise there and I'm assuming the load tracks right Assume wrong. Okay, so no checking at all on either one. Good to know. Next on the list, we got standing three. This is that she leaves her back turn and she has a bunch of extensions out of it. Three extensions out of this. Standing three, start up here, says it's 15 frames. It has some, looks like it has some pretty good range. One, two. How about two back dashes for Lily? Obviously a little more two than two. It's gonna whiff. Maybe a little more than two back dashes. Yeah, good range. Really good range on this. And I know that that's a natural combo, so this is a really good whiff punish from range. That, that'll give you a wall splat. Of course, you could hold back to get up off of that. Back quick row, no surprise here. And nothing's gonna reach. If they do stay down and they don't hold back for some reason, down four, three plus four by itself reaches. How do I land Lily's electric? I don't know. Hit up Aris that question. He loves those questions. All right, three, two is also a natural combo. Three, two is, according to this, plus two on hit, negative five on block, mid high. Mid. Does that have any counter properties? I don't. Oh, missed it. But three, two has a third hit on the extension. Nope. 
second hit. That's good damage, but you're not gonna get that. No delay, no delay. And a standard three by itself is negative 11 on block back turn. So if you were to punish her, she did nothing afterwards. Would you get her rear? Oh, standing three, not back turn. Let's see if it counts as a punish. It do. So you get guaranteed back turn 11 frames if she were to stop there. So she has to rely on the extensions to stop you from swinging. Interesting. Oh. That stream probably doesn't work on back turn, right? Let me see. Because that gap is way too big. It does. I wonder if uh, Ling Zhaoyu could uh, parry that shit. It's only 20 damage, so it's not that big a deal. Alright, so that was, uh, what is it? 3 1, 3 2, 3 2, 3. Knockdown, knockdown. No mamas. Tested that already. Okay. So that last hit on 3 2 3 is actually safe on block. Interesting. The gap looks pretty big though. So if you could easily while standing that shit. Oh shit. Don't even gotta duck it, huh? I mean, it could be just be a Lily thing because she's Lily. Why is she getting hit? I'm ducking. Weird. This is odd. I'm trying to go into a hot kick. Uh, interesting. So she commits to the string. If you commit to the string, you're probably going to hit her airborne if you try to wall standing. I don't know how fast her wall standing 2 is. Uh, but fortunately for Lily, her wall standing 2 floats them in that sort of way. So she's going to convert off of it, no problem. Alright, well, next on the list. Got her standing form. So you can only flow off an interrupt. Well, if you do anything slower, it's gonna flow. I'm sorry, anything faster, it's gonna hit her standing. It's gonna counter hit her too. If she commits to the string. But if you do anything slower than like 13, 14, maybe 15 frames. 15 or slower because I'm assuming her while standing too at the moment I'm assuming her while standing too is 15 frames it's probably going to be a float so don't expect to get a while standing fo four flow her while standing four knocks down I'm looking at the damage it's counter hit 116 uh, percent that's how I know it's not hitting her out of the air of course the hit effect also doesn't happen in airborne see that's how it would look if it were to flow her if I delayed it see but no matter how fast I try to, I'm trying to instant while standing too and I'm getting counter hit, which is a little weird. Maybe that like high is coming out slower than I think and I'm while standing into it. So I can't instant while standing. But then I try to hop kick also, which we know is uh, 15 frames. Out of that, second hit has a lot of active frames, or just the big gap between the first and the second hit. It's like big enough that I'm like while standing into it. <laughs> but yeah, 
You're gonna float her with 15 frames. Hey, AK, what's up? Do you know why Claudio's while standing on to a uh, back turn opponent into hot kick is guaranteed? But Shaheen's forward 2 3 on back turn isn't. Both are plus 9. My guess would be the spacing. It probably uh, doesn't Shaheen's forward through two forward two three push back. It's been a while since I played Shaheen. If Shaheen's forward two three pushes back, that would be why. All right. Hey, 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 K, why don't you update Aris's side anymore? <laughs> Either way it goes, 3-1 is a great move. All this other dumb gimmicky shit is whatever. 3-2-3, three, three, I don't know if it's something that I would recommend using. I just noticed the last hit is a high. For some reason, I thought it was a mid. So it's even worse than I thought. So yeah, and it doesn't like, it's not like a core screws, right? Yeah, ew, that spring is kind of whatever. If there is a use for it, maybe during certain juggle fillers or something. Maybe some kind of wall carry, I don't know. But in a neutral situation, I don't know if I'd fuck with 3 to uh, 3. It only comboed on counter hit, right? Yeah, it only combos on counter hit. But it is safe. Opponent can block after. Block hop kick, but can't block Claudio's genocide upper. Hmm. I don't know why. But does it push out further? That's the that's still why I'm asking that. If it pushes out further, it might it, that might have something to do with it. Okay, so her standing four is 12 frames, but it's not a magic four. Negative four on block though, unlike uh, a lot of magic fours, which are like negative six, seven, eight, sometimes not. Plus seven on hits, and then she has four one, so four one can be a twelve frame punisher, I guess. But she has two four, which is better. But if you need some range, I guess four one can be it. But I know forward two into something. Forward two three is her actual twelve frame punisher, right? So and that has, that has good range. So four one isn't even good for that. This is something that this is how she starts her ten hit, right? Yeah, I don't know the follow. There it is. It's 13? Oh shit. Get fucked. <laughs> Can't compete with Wonky. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. That's 13, huh? So I guess 4 1 would be a consistent long range 12 frame punisher for her then. If you don't have the spacing for 2 uh, 2 uh, 4. Reason being, forward 2 is a different move than 2. So you can't hold forward for her 2 4, which means you can't add any range, so you cannot lead it. Forward one two lead jabs can't do that shit. So I do a standing two four. Ah, that shit, the high crush, of course. How's the range on that? Oh, whatever, I'll get there. Four one four one. Wow, that damage is garbage. Holy shit. That's a mid option. Force crouch. Zero on hit plus zero to plus two on hit force crouch. On counter hit plus eight to plus ten. Active frames. Blah blah blah. Negative eleven on block. This thing is trash. What happens if she were to continue it? Let's see. Like, if I were to block the third hit and try to swing. I'll stop there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> that shit is whack. Let's see how the tracking is on standing three and standing four.
Damn. It actually tracks to her uh, left side? If it hits Lily, I'm gonna assume it hits everybody. Short of uh, Ling Zhaoyu sidestep right AOP. So that seems like a decent tracker to that side. Everybody hates AOP. You ain't the first. You won't be the last. So, standing three tracks to her left side. Alright, now we're talking about 1 plus 2. So that's her actual 12 frame punisher. Thank you for that. 26 damage, good. I know this crush is highs, right? If not, it at least goes under jabs. shit <laughs> yeah so it might not be a real high crush but i'm pretty sure this is one of those where if i could find a certain window it'll go under jabs i'm pretty sure right what's uh can we put her at standing for us uh something tells me negative three would do it do we have negative three? Negative tray. We got negative five. Damn, this is proving to be hard to find. Homegirl don't got negative three, huh? Damn, she does off of a weird ass option. That's not gonna work. Lost adding one, two. Thing I've seen people actually do. Oh. Maybe it's a spacing thing. I saw a negative five. Let's try negative five. I see negative six also. Over three. That's probably too much. Maybe it's a spacing thing. You could visually visibly see her ducking there. That's why I know it works. It's worked several times mid-match too. Alright, well. We'll just take that as the fact that it's a freaking fast move at 12 frames 12 frame mids aren't very common and uh, she has one of the harder hitting ones not quite kazumi level but 26 damage is pretty good it's one of those that they gotta hold back on if they don't hold back i'm assuming she gets down four people for guarantee she sure does let me literally just has a fat jab uh, that's a possibility but that's what that's the thing about those weird ass moves that do that they're kind of finicky in general like uh like a lead down forward one. There are some jabs that it'll go under during certain windows, and there are other jabs where it won't. So it's either that, or it's just the fact that it's just a super fast move in general. <clears throat> uh, still a good move. It's only negative 12 on block, so it's not as bad as like Kazumi's, but it does do less damage. Hey, Keanu, you still in here, Nico? Feel free to correct me on something other than acting like a clown if you got anything to say. Step guard, fuck. Why can't I step guard? It's fast, that's why. 
So it seems to be pretty good to her left, uh, her right side. Too much, it's negative five. That's negative two, right? Alright. That convinces me. If it works on Lily, it'll work on everybody. One plus two. Good move, good move. Forward two, forward two. So this is 13 frames. Okay, so this is her forward two three is her 13 frame Punisher. So so far the only tracking moves we see here are uh, moves that are unsafe on block. That's an afford and the only tracks on one side. So so far you can start to see why people say the lead has bad tracking. Although I will say that stepping this is like step guarding versus this. It's a bit difficult because it's so damn fast. Negative 12 on block. All right, so this is one you're gonna want to use as an up close with Punisher too. Kind of like Bob's forward two. Decent range. I think Bob probably has more range for this forward two three. Really good range actually. Look at this phantom hitbox on this shit. <laughs> yeah, this has this has always caught me in situations where it looks like it should have missed, and you can see why. Like her fingertips just clip you from so far away. She could delay it. No hit confirm though. But she could totally delay it. That's why I was checking for counter. I always check for counter properties of strings, but there's no counter properties on the kick, so. What does this do during juggles? It does that, okay. So it's a decent juggle filler, so instead of flipping in the air like that. That could make your wall splat high depending on your distance from the wall. If you do this later in the juggle for some reason. Forward two probably doesn't have any tracking, if I were to guess. I should do the whole square. Huh. Now, if she completes the string, it kind of messes her up. But that first hit... Clip you for going toward it. That's forward three, which is a homing mid, safe on block, corkscrews. But now counter hit it just knocks down. Wall splats. That's pretty good. A safe homing mid that's only 20 frames. It's slow, so using it as like a general anti sidestep tool, it's not gonna work. Home move like this, you're gonna know it easier when people are pressing you with like sidestep dot uh down four to one or sidestep pokes like this. That's probably when you might want to defend yourself with that, but it's not a big deal. It is safe though. So that's good. Safe mid, that's really good. Really, really, really good. And then if they happen to hit him out of like a hop kick or something for whatever reason, you get yourself a cross move. Hey, thanks for the bits. <laughs> I bought myself a Swedish fish with those five bits. Ah. Alright. I'm a little lethargic right now because I ate a shitload of pizzeria food. So I'm stuffed to the fucking gills right now. That was a big mistake, clearly. Alright, next on the list we got forward four. That was forward three. Forward four. This is another nice, really long range with punish. This one, unlike standing three, two, 
We'll keep you safe. Sorry, standing 3-1. We'll keep you safe. That's good. Not a wall splat too, so when she's at the wall and she's standing at about this far uh, range, the moment you whip something, bam! Forward four is rare. So wall splat your ass. 17 frame startup, negative nine on block. Back to roll to get up, you get a free dot four three plus four. Maybe something better, I don't know. Right. It pushes back too. Oh, this is a fucking great move. Obviously, this is gonna be super linear, right? But as always, it's on you to make that work based on timing. Same. Can't even walk it. Maybe this way you can. Nope. You can stair step that shit though. If you're fast enough. Give me a hitbox. Or just step it later. That's a really good move. Very good move. Very, 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 very good move. She could kind of just stick some buttons out from super far away after she has a lead. She could kind of do that with moves like that. I haven't had a Swedish Fish in forever. I kind of want one now, but I'm still fucking full. I'm a glutton, man. I got up to 400 pounds for a reason. Shit. Next, we got forward one plus two. Ah, uh, this is a move that used to bound, I believe, right? Forces crouch on hits only. On counter hit, knocks down. I don't know if she can pick up with anything. She might just get a free follow up, right? That doesn't hit ground in there. That's a run. Oh, no flip over shit. She gets a free sidestep three. Ah. There we go. That's her grounded hitting mid of choice, right? 18 damage for Root of Evil. So that'll be your more damaging option. Obviously. Uh, knocks him away. Even though that does the flip, I wouldn't call it particularly great for Oki. But it is easier to do. If you have trouble doing 444 fast enough, I guess you can do a sidestep 3 also. Alright. So this is safe on block. Negative 6 it says here. Plus 3 force crouch on hits. It doesn't force crouch on block. No surprise there, it's very linear. And the startup on this is 14 frames. And I'm assuming this spikes, right? Yeah, it does the old spike. It doesn't do the bounce on the floor spike like I thought it would. It looked like it would do that. I'm pretty sure that used to be a bound move. Pretty sure. So that's 14 frames. That's a good move still, though. 14 frames? That's good. Uh, not amazing, but good. So far, no real amazing moves. Just some good stuff. Next, we got 4 plus 4. The cartwheel shit. The flippity floppity shit, as my friend used to like to say. This thing has 18 frame startup. Negative 4 on block. Obviously, it knocks down on hits. 
I wonder if on regular hit this this breaks the floor. This might be a jungle starter on regular hit on that stage. Lily's favorite stage. I'll be at the I'll be having to check this out a lot. It was an old bound, yes. What's up, BJB? How's it going? Sorry about that. All right. That be a juggle starter on this stage. Lily's favorite stage. This is, what is it on block again? Four, two plus four. So you got a negative four on block mid. Low crush? Low crush juggle starter. Uh, according to RB Norway, it jumps on frame 12. So I wouldn't call it a great low crush, but still. Good enough, I think. Oh, I masked. That stuff becomes a jungle starter too, though. <laughs> Same damage, oddly enough. All right, oh, we got that out of the way. I'm all right. I'm a little. I mentioned earlier. I'm a little lethargic right now because I ate a chicken parm, twelve garlic knots, and a slice. <laughs> That's all I ate today. But I ate it all in one sitting. Literally just finished it like a half hour ago. So I'm like, oh man. It doesn't exactly give me the itis, but it definitely gives me the uh, I gotta loosen up my belt status, you know what I'm saying? Ah. Agua. I could put it away, man. You put a pie in front of me, it's gone. Believe it or not, I'm still gonna lose weight. <laughs> Eating all that shit, I'm still gonna lose weight. Because I'm gonna jog for five miles tonight. Anyway, um, so forward three plus four, good move on that stage. Outside of that stage, that still seems all right because that positioning looks good, right? I think this is a classic setup. I think after this hits you, I think this is a thing Lily players just do. If I'm not mistaken, in the older games, that shit would float you for holding back. If you held back and you try to do a back row, that shit would eat you up. Now, if I hold back. At the very least. If I hold back, I am forced to block that. Now this is when I wish I had second block, because it would tell me, I know that dot 40 plus four has a pretty uh, decent amount of active frames. So if I had second block, it would be able to tell me right now, oh, in this situation, when you hold back, because you're getting up so late, you block it in the tail then, you know? I would have to actually test that shit now. I don't know how fast her back turn jabs are. All right, I'll try to remember this when I get to her back turn stuff, though. Well, the game was just patched, so uh, whoever does the I and I file stuff, you basically have to run cheat engine to find a certain memory sector, hex editing and all that shit, right? And then uh, when you find out when that stuff is for the player one and the player two, the thing that changes that applies to frame data, you change the text in an I and I file for Tekken bot to say, hey, this is the address of the memory address of blah blah blah, frame data basically. And it goes, oh, okay, and then it up there. I don't know how to do any of that shit. So. And I'm not gonna use no cheat engine, so. That's that. My friend used to mess with hex editing, though. Back in the day. Maybe I'll ask him, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Core RB Norway, the first hit of this by itself. If, the se if you're ever in a situation where the second hit whips, which my guess is if this were to hit you off access. She's actually negative 25 on block, because the second is going to whiff. But it still knocks down. Interesting. Does that mean if you were to exchange with her 
18 frames. Does that mean that she could start to juggle? It's 18 frames. Let's uh, have a look see. Plus A, of course, I know, I know about a plus A situation. That's not, all right, it's gonna be weird to do. I'm just mashing down one. Oh, she's in the air. It's not gonna happen. She's in the air. Hey, how's the volume levels? Because sometimes you motherfuckers stay quiet and then somebody like two hours later comes, Hey, Manny, the music's kind of loud. <laughs> I'm lowering this just a little bit just in case. Sounds all good. Thank you. All right. So if I could have a situation where only the first hit connects... Because that's way too linear. Well, anyway, according to RB Norway, if the second hit is the only thing that connects, it's negative four on block. It also knocks down on hit. Ooh, and in that situation, maybe you get a side step three. Yeah, it looks like you do. It interrupted her. Maybe you don't. Know. Good, right? Yeah, it looks guaranteed. I tried to tap up into block also because that gets you up faster. What's up, Chad? Alright, so she gets something guaranteed there, but not if the both of it's connect, obviously. Ooh, that was an accident. The Oki still looks good. She could force it. Ooh, is that down four guaranteed? Generic down four. That's guaranteed. Can I check that? I can't check that, right? No, I can't check that. That's guaranteed. All right. Anything better than guaranteed? How good is her axe kick? Uh, I haven't gotten there yet. Whoa. What the fuck? It's because I'm trying to get up. It's not guaranteed. What the fuck? Damn, man. Hmm. I mean, it makes sense because the generic Don 4 doesn't hit ground there, but I thought she might have been in a little window of a state where she was still considered kind of bouncing on the floor, sliding a bit. Like, some moves have that going on. Well, either way it goes, what I could at the very least say is the Oki is definitely great off of this because... She's still in range, no matter how she gets up. No matter how your opponent gets up. Like, they have to deal with just the low poke. So that alone makes the Oki off of this really good. So this move is alright. Yet another good move that's not amazing. On the, on the floor break stage, though, then that move becomes scary. What about forward one plus two after? So if I hold back after forward one plus two. So the problem with that is it comes out too fast. 
that weird get up animation like that your uh your upper body vulnerable like almost like a uh, relaxed stance your hurt box is on your lower body but you can't block during the process of getting up you're unable to block that's kind of why the down four is guaranteed if i try to get up because it's so fast it's 12 frames anybody that can do this generic low this down four from standing is 12 frames so because your lower body uh vulnerable while getting up it's gonna hit me but my hurt box isn't high enough so that is gonna whiff down four three probably that looks good oops that's not how you do that That looks good. I think that's a popular follow-up to that, isn't it? Look at that, see? The very tip. Look at that, the very tip. Magic magic hitbox. Phantom. She's like clipping her in the pinky with that shit. So yeah, good choice. Let's play this. I know that's plus on block. I haven't gotten there yet, but I think that's coming up soon, actually. But that is a good choice, yes. A, a great choice for a mid, even. Because if it hits you, it does that. If it counter hits you, like if they were trying to wake up kick, ooh, juggle. Yep, that's a great choice. And it beats uh, the mid wake up kick gets her up faster, so it hits her as if she were airborne. So you don't get a counter hit juggle starter there. But for the low kicks, it's it slower. Oh, I take that back. But for the wake up kicks, you're just gonna hit them. Still, still a great option. You'd rather counter hit wake up kicks properly, yeah. That's still a great option though. You're not really gonna get a counter here in this situation, though. I don't think so. If people try to get up and mash, it's gonna help them block it. More likely than not, they're gonna get up and block it, or they're gonna try to wake up, kick, and get hit, but not counter, not, not uh, knocked out. They're gonna get hit airborne style. Ooh. Okay, so four three plus four tilde three. That's when you get the slow version. So this is if you're mashing three right after you do it. Or just double tap it, basically. Now, it's still a natural combo. One less damage, huh? And it's still floor breaks. We saw that earlier. Uh, the purpose of this is... I don't really know. It's still, uh, it's still safe. It's actually worse on block. But the purpose of this is to catch people, I guess, sleeping on the second hit. And then they'll counter hit them. I know that there's a, this is the floor break combo, right? No, the floor break combo is back turn. This used to be a wall combo. It might still be a wall combo, this string, right? That, I think that's a wall combo still. That used to be a tag two tag filler at the wall, I think. But uh, I'm pretty sure that's still a wall combo because that last hit is going to hit him low. Yeah. Um... As far as using this in a neutral, I wouldn't recommend it. If you do the last four, she's negative 20. She moves back, though. Fourteen frame gap, fifteen frame exchange. Of course, you could just sidestep that, right, or walk it. Probably walk it, right? So yeah, I would only use this as a wall combo thing. The secret part, if the second part, not secret, you should be able to combo with duck jab, if I remember right. Mm. Can you up forward two out of that combo? I don't know. I'll find out. Yeah, you, uh, the second hit is a juggle starter. So I guess that is, but it's pretty... That's the reason to use it in neutral, but it's pretty fucking gimmicky. The gap is too big. You could use it against an opponent that's ignorant, but... 
I'm forward to what he said. Oh my god, I can't even put a forward people's four. <laughs> oh my god, buffer. You could delay that, right? Hmm. You totally can, okay. How much do you have to lay it? <laughs> Damn. If you could lay it. Just enough to get that last hit to do 60%. It's actually quite difficult. Whew. It's also awkward as hell for me to do. For those of you who don't know, check it out. I got a deformity. The reason I have so much trouble pressing 1 plus 2. I've always had this, even back in the old Marduk days. I was one of those... Gormus motherfuckers born with the crooked index fingers. You could see, I could see right through them. My eye. So you see here, my index finger, because it's crooked, is way shorter than the middle finger. And that's why I have so much trouble inputting 1 plus 2s and 3 plus 4s. Um, anyway. Ew, you think that's bad, my friend? When he puts his pickies together, they go outward even more than my index fingers do. He could make like a V shape. <clears throat> so yeah, um, if you just do the last hit. If you know how to time that, that's a good wall combo. And then in general, the second hit, if you stop at the second hit. It's a juggle starter if you do interrupt people. If they're too slow to react, I guess. And you definitely can't interrupt forward three plus four regularly, right? Yeah, you definitely cannot. It doesn't even let you try. It basically jails you. You can't try to match between. So that's pretty fucking gimmicky to me. As far as using it in a neutral goes. Next, we got down forward one. 13 frame mid poke. Her down forward one is negative one on block. Plus seven on hits. Uh, it doesn't look like it ducks. So it might not go under jabs. and It might not be one of those. But, you know, there's no extension off of hers. That's probably why it's negative one. That's not, that's a lie. There's some that are negative one that do have extensions, but, um, that's not really what it's about. It looks slow, right? It looks slow for a down forward one because she's leaning into it in this weird way, but it totally is it's your standard 13 frame down forward one. Not, not much else to say about it. You could sidestep during your poke pressure and just, you know, use it like you use any other down forward one. Which is to say, down forward one sidestep, down forward one sidestep block, down forward one sidestep, down three, jab, sidestep, down three, jab, down forward one, jab, down forward one, sidestep, down three, sidestep, down forward one. That's what I mean. You guys know what's up though. 
Mix that shit up. Uh, let's see if it tracks, though. A lot of these track to one side, usually. That goes that way. Yep, so her left side, this automatically makes her left side better than her right side, I bet. Unless she has some amazing move that tracks to her right side. This is automatically going to make her left side more annoying to deal with. But less rewarding if it's just this. If this is what they're going to... Oh, shit. I got her on it. <laughs> I might just chalk this up to Lily being Lily. Fucking Lily. You can't rely on anything with this fucking character. <laughs> Uh, nee mentioned a long time ago in Tech Attack 2 that Lily can crush her own down forward one. Can crush? He mean, I think he meant duck under it, right? With like, yeah, like that, right? <laughs> right? Not Edelweiss, though. Got slapped in the face, Lily. But Matterhorn... No problem. I don't know the juggle. This part, this this kind of goes under mid sometimes too, I think. But you can't really do that instantly in that situation, so. I mean, it's a little awkward. I guess you kind of can. Can I? I'm getting forward three. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, I know a Lily Juggle. That's a shitty Lily Juggle. Alright, well, not much to say about Down Forward 1. I'm betting most characters will have trouble sidestepping it. Let's see. Let's pick a nice mid sized character. What do you guys think is good to test? Bob, maybe? Miguel? I think I forget if Hatch is considered kind of kind of thin or not. Hachi has that ladylike figure. Yeah. Gramps. But he's definitely no Lily. We could agree on that, right? Oh, this is tight. Okay. Alright. Uh, pick Bob. I'll try Bob. That would suck if Lily has a down forward one that doesn't track. I mean, it's not like it would be the first time, right? But still. Does Bob have a bigger body than other males, though? Well, Bob has at least average size as far as size stepping goes. I don't think he's above average. He's evasive because his moves move him around in weird ways. Oh my god. Alright, so I guess we could accept that. It, it, it doesn't really track. Right, but let's do it off of everything. We've seen weird shit happen before with this. Yeah, that shit looks like it moves her off axis away from the freaking side. <laughs> Give me more space to sidestep it. Alright, so. No stepping, okay. No tracking. No tracking.
Yeah, not everyone can step Leo's back back one four. That is correct. Like Jin cannot. I think for some reason Nina cannot. I've heard, <laughs> which is weird. That's just the, it. Just it has something to do with the way characters stand, their neutral stance. Those weird inconsistencies outside of the big bodies, the regular size characters, they have to do more with the way the characters stand in their neutral stance. That's what it has to do with, right? Not with them being necessarily big or small. So that's down forward one. Very unfortunate. You have to move around a lot to make it work. But you're Lily, you're probably gonna be moving around a lot in general, I think. Next is her down forward two, which is 16. I did not know that. 16 frames. I guess that's why it's only negative 11 on block, according to this. Interesting. Oh, it leaves her back turn? Oh shit. Don't hold back. Wait, does that matter? Let's see. Oh shit. Okay, this is weird. If you're trying to block after this, you gotta not hold back the whole time, otherwise you might accidentally put yourself back turn. Wow, that's so fucking weird. You have to like delay holding back. Alright. So I don't know if I have any 11 frame move. There you go. Crouching two jabs are usually 11 frames from standing. Just don't like press down forward and hold back right away. Let the move uh, animation play out and then hold back. I feel like I would make that mistake very often. Apparently Nina can only sidestep at the wall. Nina, if I'm not mistaken, Nina could back sway it. So you can do her crazy ass wall combo, of course. What is it? Uh, not that. That. That, that wall combo, right? That's what you're talking about? That's supposed to be a fucking nasty wall combo, right? All right, 54 damage. And that last hit rescales, even without walls. That's a shitload of damage, all right? So if you were to theoretically floor break, you could do this. To re-splat into this. Alright, well. Let's see. Since we're talking about down forward two anyway, right? Before I do that, let's test the tracking on this thing. Okay, so we know Lily has no problem sidestepping it. So after I wall splat, what would be her ideal floor break? Anybody know? I know a bunch of you guys uh, play this character. Somebody give me a good floor break option after wall splat. What's up, Zach Lock? Hi, Zach Lock. How's it going? Would this be it? 14, 21. No, we don't want a back turn position to floor break. No, 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 I'm not looking for that. Forward four, three. 
You mean down forward four three, right? No, forward, forward four three? What's forward four three? Oh, you're you're from Germany? Or are you go are you traveling? What's forward four three? That's not a move. I meant to keep her back turn. That doesn't look like it would work, though. That does not look like it would work. Maybe if you floor break near the wall, but not against the wall. Yeah, they, I just tested it. Thank you. The spacing isn't good. Here, on the other hand, oh no, I fucked it up. That looked good though. that I got that on, on that third wall break look good but in the on axis situation it's no good Was that 58 plus 14 damage? It's not as much as I thought it was gonna be. 68, uh, 72 damage. 72 damage for forward two three. I mean that's good damage. Don't get me wrong, but it's not as good as I thought it was gonna be. All right, got it. Am I a lily name? No. <laughs> Far from it. Akir. Akir Smith. I'm only... The reason I'm doing this is because I am about as far from a lily main as you could be. Why not just do down forward 3 plus 4 for the ground break? Are you trying to squeeze out? That's why. I was... Yes. That, that's why I was looking for something else. I'm not saying don't do it. I was trying to find if there's something else. That's it. I do these character run throughs for every single character. Uh, I'm probably down to about 30% left of the cast. So I'm just going through her whole move list right now. As far as who I main, I pretty much don't have a main right now. So, Have I done Devil Jin? No, I have not. Not yet. <clears throat> uh, Feng might be next. Feng and then I'll try to pick a simple character <laughs> to clear the mine and then I'll do like Lily I'm think not uh, uh, Ling Ling Xiaoyu so anyway either way it goes down 4 to 16 frames which was a shocker if you're gonna block after it to be sure don't hold back during the animation of the move or you're gonna recover back turn and get fucked up so let it play out and then hold back And I suppose since she does recover back turn, if you don't have floor break, you could go for that. If you want to do down forward two as a mid option for wall splat, you could turn back turn and go for that crazy wall combo if you wall splat with it. So that's good. That crazy wall, wall combo, of course, being this. Forward four, three plus four. Wall back turn. All right, so that's down forward two. No tracking. Next, we got down forward Trey. Talked about this earlier. Forces crouch on block and on hit. On counter hit, it is a juggle starter. I don't know what the best pickup option would be, but you can totally do down one, two, four for an easy uh, string into a corkscrew. It's a whatever. Here's an easy mode combo for you new players. 
Down one, two, four, forward, forward, three, hold it, one, two. Because if you hold, after four, four, three, if you hold forward, she goes into her crouch dash automatically, which lets you do one, two. Just the easy little get starter combo, get started combo you could put there until you learn some better shit. Uh, four, one, down two, two, three. Oh, hey, that's an easy one, too. Are you sure that's easy? Because I feel like I see 4-1 get dropped often from low-level Lily players. They just, like, they're a little too late. Alright, well. Time seems about the same. Hey, there you go. So thanks Broadway. So four one down two two three. I was looking for the string earlier. I knew she had a string out of that. And now I was like, oh maybe it's just down two one four is what I was thinking, because they look similar. Down two two three. Okay, got it. You can be able to do that off of everything, right? I like juggles like that to explain to people these are starting juggles. Juggles you can do off of every launcher basically. Yeah, you can pretty much do that off of everything. Nice. <laughs> <coughs> Two, three, right? Mm. Yeah. That forward two, three to forward four, three is a pain in the ass. I wouldn't recommend that for newer players. It's not super hard, but it's just that's just one of those things that you know if you're new to Tekken. You're gonna have to really drill that shit out. That's why I don't like recommending that kind of stuff to newer players. Someone like me who's playing this played the series for a while, I'd be able to pick that up and then practice it, like sit down here for like 15, 20 minutes and get it consistent enough that I'd be I try it during the match. That's but like for people who are new to Tekken, I would not recommend. Oh forward to. Say that four four three you have to like do that shit super fast. Otherwise you get that. You do it too fast, right? And so that, right? string oh forward three one can you just of course look for one two hi i'm the second i'm learning nina where should i start learning the game i've been trying to learn her frame data and best punishes well here's a start hold on a second Now, I did go through Nina's move lists, but the thing about my content, if you scroll down, you'll see my YouTube link, is this whole thing that I'm doing here with this character right now is what I do with every character, and Nina's a bit more complex than those other characters. So, first of all, that is Nina's frame data. Uh, it's pretty consistent across the board. Don't, don't get too hung up on that kind of stuff, though. If you want to start learning this game, start simple. Are you coming from a 2D fighting game? Smex it. Are you coming from any other fighting games? Like experience actually learning them? I'm not talking about playing them competitively, like per se, but like being competent at them. Or are you like starting from scratch here? Been playing Third Strike for almost 20 years. Okay, so you know, like, you know, you, you know about spacing, you know about like with punishing, you know, you know, you know about that kind of basic stuff. That all, that all that kind of stuff carries over here. What you got to understand about Nina is she is 
a semi-difficult character to play uh, as far as her skill ceiling goes, but you could play her in a very basic way. Uh, she has uh, some really good poking, but one of her biggest weaknesses is that her lows, she does not have a very strong comeback low. She has one low that's pretty strong, but it's like negative 40 on block. Like you get absolutely murdered if somebody blocks, somebody good blocks the low. It's like negative 40, wipe the floor, people call it. It's the full crouch one where she spins her whole body on the floor, and then she gets a guaranteed follow-up after a hit. So, in general, you're going to be poking a lot with stuff like Nina's down back three and shit like that. And uh, you're going to try to open people up with certain frame traps and set up certain whiff punishes. So, as you're looking through Lena's, 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 Nina's move list, look for her frame traps. A big one is there. She has a sidestep poke. Uh, I forget. It's either sidestep one or two. What are, what are the punch buttons? It's sidestep one or two. I forget. Whichever one it is, you hold fo I'll just look it up right now. Hold on a second. Control F. Sidestep two. No, sidestep one. Yeah, it's sidestep one. So if you input like Nina sidestep one, and then you hold forward or back. If you hold forward right after inputting sidestep one, she'll she'll cross dash forward. If you hold back right after inputting it, she'll lean back, sway back. The thing about those two situations, holding back or forward, she has heavy, heavy, heavy frame advantage. It says here RB Noah, she's at plus ten. So that means any of her options you do out of her sway back or cross dash forward, whatever they may be, if you do them without delay, you'll have you'll be doing them at a plus ten frame advantage. So that's one good thing you could start with, as far as like, it's it, it don't you know it it's a tra it could be a, a trap where you might get too gimmicky with it and over rely on it, but it's a play it's a good place to start. Another thing about Nina is she has a uh, down forward one style poke. In Tekken, most characters. Uh, with their mid pokes tend to be around uh, 13 14 frames in some cases there are 12 frame pokes in some cases there are like 15 frame pokes but mostly 13 and 14 frames as far as mid pokes go nina has a down forward one that is 13 frames but she has unique ability to go into her jab strings she has unique jabs she's like one two one two into like stuff to blonde bomb the one plus two that she makes it less she's throwing out a fireball with both her hands she has that out of her down forward one also. She can do one, two, one, two, down forward, one, two, one, two, and all that shit. So that's kind of unique to Nina, and you could really overwhelm your opponent with these with those kinds of pokes, especially if they don't know what's going on. Uh, definitely use a lot of do, uh, down uh, back three, or is it down three, whatever the fuck can open, not can opener, whatever the fuck her version of wine opener is. And it's not around anymore, so there's no wine opener. Um, that low on counter hit knocks them down. She gets a free follow up, so it's a very good low. Uh, her down four is just like this. A lot of characters, this is basically what, what uh, I call a generic down four. From standing, some characters have to do them with weird input, like dragon up is down back four. Miguel has to input it as down back three plus four. Uh, but basically, if you are playing with a character that has this style of poke from standing, it is a 12 frame low. That is very valuable. 12 frame high crushing low, ducks highs. Nina, not only does she have that as down four, she has a counter hit extension down four one, which goes into a high that's like only like negative two or something on block. What is it? Uh, down plus four one. Yeah, down plus four one is zero on block. It can be ducked, so if you get too like too uh, crazy with it, you can get fucked up. But still, down four one is very good, and she could cancel out of it with a side step up or down if you just input up or down. So if people are afraid of swing because of the one, she'll cancel to a sidestep and she has unique sidestep moves like the sidestep one that we mentioned earlier. So Nina is a pretty complex character is what I'm getting at and can be overwhelming. But just start with the sidestep one shit I told you about on block practice, that stuff. Uh, down forward two is her primary launcher pretty much from for whiff punishment up close. It does not launch people that are crouching unless it's counter hit. But her down forward two is safe. It's a little upward slap bullshit she does. So that's like a category of down forward two that a few characters have that they launch people that are standing, but they don't launch people that are ducking. So it doesn't let you use it as a mix up for mid and standing for standing and crouching, basically like a low versus a mid. But it is used as a whiff punisher unless they're recovering crouching, then it won't launch them. Uh, she has a lot of really good long range uh, whiff punishes too. Like uh, what's it up forward one, two. That's a pretty good one, I think. 
or up forward two one, whatever the launcher is. Up forward one, two, up forward two one, whatever. Uh, up forward one is her obnoxious low crush launcher, right? Yes. Up forward one is a launcher also. This isn't really a whiff punish. This is a low crush launcher. And it's basically like a safe on block hop kick. It's slower though. Much slower. It's 26 frames, but it's like uh, she does a jumping downward punch with her left arm. She jumps, spins around, and swings her arm downward. It crushes low safe on block, and she's only negative five. So it's a very, very, it's basically an orbital, yeah, but it doesn't have the range or the rec recovery of an orbital. What does orbital mean? Orbital, oh man, here we go. We're going to start to get into the, the, the weird second shit. So Tekken has a few things where people will talk about uh, moves with specific properties. Well, people will call them all the same thing. For example, this sweep that uh, Lily has, it's called Edelweiss. Edelweiss and some other bullshit. It has like a full name. It's a homing juggle starting low that's very slow, seeable on block, right? You can block it on reaction. People tend to call these snake edges because Brian has the snake edge and he has the most infamous variation of this. So orbitals are basically these low crushing moves that uh, that uh, have animation like Brian's up forward four. Once again, his name after a Brian move. Uh, have like a spinning animation, orbital, hence orbital, and tend to be safe on block. I don't, I'm not really personally comfortable with comfortable calling Nina's up forward one an orbital because it lacks some of the things that Brian's orbital has. For example, it's uh, he could do it neutral jump. He, he recovers way faster than most characters do on whiff. And that shit just like clips your limbs. If you stick a limb out from far away, he could just neutral jump with it and clip you from very far away. But basically, point being, it jumps over lows and um, on normal hit, you get a juggle. The, that's those are the big things about Nina's up forward one. Very good move. Don't always sidestep after. I see a lot of Nina players get aggro after it gets blocked. It is negative five at the end of the day. But still, you could always back that. She does recover crouching. So if you were to try to sidestep after it, you could only instantly sidestep upward when you're crouching. So you see how I'm crouching right now? I can't sidestep toward the screen, right? I would have to get up. And then size down but if i'm crouching i can instantly sidestep upward that's the case for nina after that move gets blocked or hit she still she still recovers crouching but you could totally backdash out of a crouch see this recovers crouching you could still backdash so negative five you could totally backdash and beta whiff with that move very good move what's up Uryu? yeah nina is easier to whiff punish and it doesn't crush fast enough yeah exactly Orbital is like a boneless butterfly edge. <laughs> look, look at uh, Nina's up forward one is more similar to Lars up forward four. Not exactly. Lars up forward four recovers slower, I think, and and he he moves forward. He moves forward a lot. That's the thing about Lars's version. You backdash and you try to like back. For example, you try to set up like a backdash into a launcher. He'll like eat that shit alive because he moves forward a lot. So yeah, I, I know I just spit a bunch of gibberish here away, but uh, just to try to keep it simple, once again, the sidestep one stuff, that's a big part for a big part of Nina, right? You don't you don't have to always use it, but it gives you like an edge, especially against lower level competition because they're not going to know how to deal with that shit, I guarantee you. Um, down back three for, is it down back three? Let me make sure. I keep, I keep calling it down back three. Let me make sure. Uh, yes, down back three. That's basically her primary low poke from standing. But she does not high crush with it. That's where down four comes in. So down four, down four, one, all that stuff. Good stuff. Look at those moves. And uh, try to look up uh, on the frame data list I gave you. Look up the plus on block stuff. Like she has, what is it, forward four? Forward plus four. Is it forward four? Or forward three? I think it's forward three. It's forward three. Yeah, it's forward three. Forward three, she does like this double kick, double high high kick that on counter hit gives her a juggle. Uh, it knocks the opponent out and you get a juggle off of it. It's plus six on block, but it is a double high, two quick highs. So people who know the matchup and are sharp can block the first if you abuse it too much. 
they could block the first one and duck the second one and launch you for it. Unless they have a slow launcher. They'll at least get some sort of quick while standing punish. So that's a that's like that's a move that's good at most levels of play. But the higher level of play you get to, the less you're gonna use it. But it's definitely a move you should keep in mind. Oh yeah, down two is a good high crush. I'm not trying to overwhelm him. Dina has a lot of good moves. That's what that's kind of what we're getting at here. Uh, stick to like just sticking. Stick with stick with like a handful of moves for now. Don't get too crazy. Go with your main low poke. Like I told you, down back three. Down two is another good one. That's true. It's for a high crush. Down four. Just stick with those. Uh, if you need something big, white, learn how to do wipe the floor from standing. She could input it as quarter circle forward. Uh, what is it? Three plus four or four? Is it full crouch? Uh, wipe the floor. What's wipe the floor's input, somebody? Okay, down, down, forward, four. Okay, down, forward, full crouch, down, forward, four, right? Or down, down, forward, four. So you can essentially input wipe the floor as like a quarter circle forward, four. But if you input it, input it without the forward input. Down, down, forward. And then you'll do wipe the floor from standing with Nina. She could also do it from crouching. If you're crouching, you're holding down, you press down, forward, and then four. She'll do wipe the floor from crouching also. I've already done Lily. She's on my YouTube. Wait, Lily? Sorry. I've already done Nina. She's on my YouTube. And I just accidentally opened up, uh... What's that, video games? Yeah, from crowd, she'll do it faster. I was finding Lily last night. She was going nuts. So many flips and quick. So I was getting pretty frustrated fighting her. I would get counter hit by anything I tried to do. Well, so far, what I can tell you is Lily sucks at dealing with sidesteps. Especially step guard. Since you're new to Tekken, uh... You should know that you don't have to fully thanks for the bits roll home you don't have to fully commit to your sidestep now there is a window when you start up a sidestep where you can still be hit there is a window there but as far as the neutral situation goes you could pretty much step into guard and deal with a lot of shit it's really good trust me so for example lily the one move i would worry most about while stepping so far well the homie move it's good for the homie move, right? You see this homie move Lily has? We know that it's a homie move, so you can't step it, right? But it's 20 frames, which is slow. Just to give you an example here, right? I'll show you right now. I'm going to put this Lily. I'm talking about down forward three right now, right? Which, uh, that's the move I'm talking about right now with Lily is, uh... This is a plus three force crouch move, right? This move, down forward three. If you block it... She's at plus three, and you're, cr you're forced crouch. So like I told you before, you can only instantly sidestep towards the background. If you're on the one-piece side, that means you can go to your left. If you're on the two-piece side, that means you can instantly go to your right. But it's a homing move, so it doesn't matter which way you go, right? I'm going to put her at plus three, and I'm going to step guard. See? Now then. Now that we got that out of the way. Let's see if I try to mix this up with, uh, what, what way does one plus two track? Okay, that tracks that direction. Um, can she step this up? Let's see. Okay, so that's linear. So how about if I do something a little bit faster? Nah, that's probably too fast. Uh, 14 frame move. I saw a 14 frame move before, right? Forward one plus two. That's a 14 frame move. Safe on block. So now we got a 14 frame move that is linear, right? Yeah, see? I can get around that. And then if she tries to uh, do the homie move, I could block it also. That's the idea here, right? So I could totally punish that because I got her rear. And I could still block that. Oop, see, I didn't guard enough fast enough. I see, and I could practice this and react when she whiffs by punishing her with something. Now, obviously, you're going to want better than jabs. That was too slow. I didn't get the punish. Now, 
Now, it's going to get weird with this specific move because it moves her forward. So sometimes when I step, I'll get her back. And the camera might fucking flip it around. So this is a bit of a weird example. But you get the idea here, right? Slightly off topic. I was thinking about buying an arcade stick. The Kamba Crystal. I don't, unfortunately. She would be in the middle of a string. I would try to counter and I would get counter hit for it. Yeah, that's just string familiarity. You got to, like, know her strings. There's no real shortcut. You just got to, like, realize that. Sometimes they have strings, sometimes they don't. And then the thing is, the answer isn't always for strings. Sometimes you have a better answer than just standing and blocking. You don't have to stop yourself from attacking and deal with other shit. Sometimes uh, the better you get at movement in this game and OSing things with your movement, kind of, you could get around a lot of that gimmicky shit. Lily in particular is easy to lab, even though I'm taking forever right now, because she actually has a very short move list. I'm noticing. <sighs> All right, so we're talking about down forward three. So yeah, we got the juggle from before, right? The easy starter juggle. Uh, that's, that requires a dash. So I'm gonna do that. Do forward, forward three, forward one, two. Four one down two, two three. Forward, forward three. Hold forward one two. Easy. Seventy one damage. Anybody can do it. So this definitely doesn't track, right? Yeah, so it definitely is a very linear move. No shocking, no, no shocker there, right? <clears throat> this is still a good move. And we saw earlier that it's off of something like forward three plus four if they do anything except stay on the floor that's gonna they're gonna have to deal with that shit phantom hitbox all right so next we got down forward four. Oh, the gimmick the gimmick here it is now this is a knee and uh for those of you who don't know for some reason knees elbows headbutts uh generic reversals do not work versus them so nina for example she will not be able to counter the knee, this knee. And then uh, this has the four, down forward four, four extension, which only combos on counter hit. And there's no other var uh, variation. So if you're trying to follow this up, if you want to be one of those motherfuckers that try to do this, was it, you know, for example, let's see. It doesn't work. Don't work, fuzzy. Fuzzy. It doesn't work. Don't be one of those people if you're learning Lily. Or be one of those people if they don't know how to deal with it. But in general, don't rely on that kind of shit. You're going to get in trouble the moment you try to use it on somebody that's any good. <clears throat> uh, that doesn't mean it's a bad move per se. But it's definitely something I see Lily players try to gimmick your way, gimmick their way towards uh, stealing a round or something every once in a blue moon. Even at a high level, I see this shit. And I'm like, what? You're trying to catch them sleeping and risk... Giving them a free low parry? Why? It doesn't make much sense to me. Maybe during certain juggles outside of the wall, this is good to floor break with, maybe? I don't know. Yaksa. That feeling when I can't wave dash on P2 side on a hitbox? Dude, I'm gonna upgrade a hitbox. And the reason I say upgrade is because this shit fucks up my wrist. I'm on a Korean stick right now. I'm using one of those uh, anti-carpet tunnel straps. I want to switch to a hitbox. Because I don't care what people think about you hitbox users. You're all right by me. Jibble's a hitbox user. That's all I had to see. <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, thanks for the bits. Great loudmouth. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for the bits, amigo. But uh, 
I I don't care what people think about like alternate controls like hitbox. All I care about is my wrist is getting fucked up and I want something that doesn't fuck up my wrist. Uh is it launch punishable? Is what launch punishable? Yummy milk bread? Which move? Down 444. Four, four. Yeah, I've seen the video of the Korean backdash on hitbox. It's a nice shortcut. Using the uh the tech that they put into the hitbox to stop you from being able to press two buttons together, two directional buttons together. You could use that to have like a perfect backdash cancel. With uh, with only I think two frames of ducking or three frames of ducking. Down four 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 is um what does it say here? Negative fifteen, so it is. It sure is. So I guess you should block it. <laughs> don't don't parry it. Oh wow, she can't. Okay, she can. It has to be up forward. Okay, so this is not this is not 15 like I thought. But she could hop kick for 15. Go figure. I didn't know that was that bad on block. So it's even worse than I thought. Uh... Alright, so that's that move. Let's see if the down forward four tracks. tracks to her right well the first hit at least tracks to her right down forward four by itself is 15 frames negative eight negative two negative eight on block negative two on hit plus five on counter hit interesting and uh, the low lo the second low even if it does hit you it's only plus one on hit uh, plus six on counter hit though Interesting. Alright, so it seems to track to her right. Alright, next on the agenda. Oh, we have this move. Alright, here we go. This is the fucking move right here. This is the move that you absolutely must learn how to deal with if you're fighting against this fucking character. And if you are this character, this is the fucking move. This move is everything for Lily. This move is so fucking obnoxious. So dot four, three plus four is a mid juggle starter, right? So fucking whatever, right? It's a weak juggle starter because she has to do weak pickups, but it is a juggle starter. And then it's six active frames or five? Negative four on block at worst, plus one on block at best. It got buffed before it was always negative on block. And because it got buffed, the sidestep to a right to beat everything doesn't work anymore. Maybe if you're Lily, it does. And then it gets even weirder. She recovers back turn always, no matter what, right? So here's the thing about this move. If you just turn around on block, if they block it and you try to turn around, you're going to get jabbed. If you try to hold back, if you try to hold back to turn around. If you try to hold forward, which actually turns you around faster and still allows you to block. You could block the jabs. But a one jab... She blocks his side turn. It's weird, right? <laughs> and I don't know if that means anything. I never tested if that means anything, but she definitely blocks his side turn. For those of you who don't know, when your back turn holding forward turns you around faster and still allows you to stand guard. This is how you block Ling Zhao Yu's, uh, was it counter hit forward, forward, four, three? The forward, forward kick move that turns Ling back turn and turns you around and she does mistrust and hits you or it turns you sideways, something like that. You have to hold forward to block that move. If you hold back, mistrust launches you.
Yeah, Lily's down forward two is 16. I said that already, didn't I? Oh, while wow, standing two is 16 also. Okay. <laughs> this music kicked in at the red though. Ah, okay. So the problem with this jungle Broadway, and this is why I always see the, the really good Lily players do this, is you cannot turn around with forward and get the 4-1 in time off of confirming the hit. You cannot do that. You have to already be holding forward while you're doing the move to get that in time. If you wait and see if it hits, then you lose the ability to do other things. But you don't have to wait for down four until while standing two. Of course you always do it. I'm saying if I were to input down four three and wait and go, oh, it hit and then turn around and try to do it. It gets a little weird, doesn't it? I see good Lily players all the time do this. And so whatever. The shitty ones too, because they don't know any better. But the uh, I see good players, uh, good Lily players all the time do down four. And I'm pretty sure that's why. I don't know. I'd have to ask them myself. But if you do commit to turning around right away, you can get the 4-1. And so whatever. Maybe it's an Axis thing, too. That could be it, also. As a matter of fact, that's probably the more likely reason than the first thing I said. And it looks like it is an issue off Axis, as you can see. But off Axis... It still works. You get what I'm saying? That's probably actually the true reason why the good players do the down four. If there's one thing that happens to Lily from when I watch other people play her, it's that they drop juggles randomly all the time. She one of them finicky motherfuckers like Miguel. Where it being slightly off axis means they're gonna fall out of certain things. The old thing to do against this uh, this move was to sidestep right. Reason being, you're gonna see a lot of this. A lot of that, right? So what that does is it makes you wanna hop kick as was just mentioned or just do a fast mid right it's gonna make you want to do something like that right if you block the tip you see that's plus that's either plus or zero there it is see that was zero anyway so you're gonna want to do like a, a, a fast mid but then it starts to get weird so one thing she has is down four three plus four three plus four. Now if I recall right, if this follows the same rules, you could interrupt it with a 13 frame? No, interrupt it with a 12 frame. Including a jab. But a jab loses to the low kick. That's that's one of the reasons why it works so often against people, right? But of course this will be like a cross jab, right? Yeah, see it's gonna be the cross jab because it's gonna crush it. But this still, I'm sure, it loses a sidestep right. Okay. There is that, right? Now, down 4, 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4 is... Negative 7. So this is actually also safe. She recovers back turn. Can she opt to recover not back turn? No, she always recovers back turn off of that. But it doesn't end there. Now we go into her unique back turn options.
That's the big one. Right? So that is a... Uh, not a natural combo, but the reason I'm saying that's a big one is because that shit goes under mids. So let's see if it goes under 1 plus 2. Oh, that's not 1 plus 2. Okay. So, for example, I, when I used to main Dragon Off, uh, down forward 4 for Dragon Off is 12 frames. It would beat her doing the uh, doing the low. It would beat her doing the, the down forward 3 plus 1, 3 plus 4. It would basically be her doing anything back turn, except for that, because it would low profile under it. See? Just like that. It does need a counter hit, though. And it is unsafe. Of course, she could just do the first hit. She doesn't have to do that second hit. But not only that. Where is it? There's the other one. The knockdown low. Now this one isn't as good at low profiling. But if you were to opt to jab to interrupt the second flip, she would go right under it and catch you with that shit. Also, maybe with some spacing, this might make it better at low profiling. Maybe. Maybe not. I wonder. Maybe this used to go under um, Dragon Ops down forward four also. But definitely the down three was the one. Was the big one. Not so much the down three, three, four, but the down three by itself. So the way to like stop her from doing pretty much anything after blocking the down forward three plus four in the earlier games was sidestep right. Is this below? But that tracks. Oh, not for back turn. <laughs> Only generic one tracks. All right, here we go. If I'm not mistaken, I haven't tested this in this game yet. The jabs are what fucks you up. Oh, she has a homie mid also. Right? Is that what that was? No. Huh. Maybe that was 7.0. Yeah, that was 7.0 with the shitty Sasa. I am Lily also. That's worth noting. I gotta remember I'm playing as Lily also, so my sidestep is the best in the game. Ah, uh, that used to lose too, but you have to commit to a walk. Ugh. Am I doing it too uh, too fast? Too slow, rather? I think I'm doing that too slow. Oh, no. Maybe they made that track. Oh, they made it a homie move? That was not a homie move before, right? I'm not crazy, right? Well, it doesn't matter if it is, but before, I, I, you could still beat it with sidestep right, but before that was not a homie move, right? I'm not crazy, right? Does nobody know? Nobody remembers? All right, let me just find out myself. Okay, Milo, really? You fucking motherfucker. All right, avoidingthepuddle.com. Guides. Tag two. Frame data. Lily. BT down plus three plus four. Man, this translation is very poor. <laughs> three plus four in the back, forward two. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, it doesn't even tell you if it's a low. This is like a really poor translation of the frame data on Aris' site.
FIFA's four in the back. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> FIFA's four in the back, forward, underscore, two. <laughs> All right, BT, where you at? They ran this shit through fucking Google Translate. Doesn't Walkie speak Japanese? Why is he? <laughs> or read it at least? What the fuck he's doing running this shit through Google Translate? <laughs> Man, this shit is a mess. I can't even tell what what any of this is saying. God, how do how did we live with this as our frame data source? How did we fucking live? I'll tell you how. A bunch of us remembered all this shit from earlier games. That's how. Unless you were, uh... Unless you were, uh... Conned into buying a certain strategy guide. Which might tell me what I need to know here. I gotta know, guys. If you were conned into buying one of these puppies... Like I did, just as, uh, thinking it would be a good source for frame data. And I want to show you guys this. For those of you that uh, haven't seen this. Ooh, my hair is not tied back property, properly. Now, uh, <laughs> this picture. The eSports pose with the contributors of the guide. Many of you have probably seen this already. Check it out. <laughs> Fucking eSports posing bitches over here, right? From uh, let's see if I get my middle finger there, right there, uh, right. That's core, and from core we go Anakin, right? Rip, some dude that looks like Hagrid there, and then Bloodhawk. <laughs> Learn from the best, guys. Learn from the best, right? Yes, this is the one that was uh, that ha apparently had no editor. They just typed that shit up on AOL and emailed it to them, and then they didn't even bother to spell check this shit. The be you know what's what's uh what's fucked up? Tyler 2K contributed to this guy quite a bit, and he is not on this picture <laughs> at all. He has a lot of really good information in here too, and he actually probably has the best like as far as like grammar goes. <laughs> he probably has the best stuff in here. All right, let's go look for Lily. Let's look for Lily. We got to know. We got to know the history, guys. This is important. You see? They separated them not by, like, ABC order, but by w which player contributed. You see their names? I can't see my own camera right now. See Tyler? All those, that's Tyler 2K. You can see their names there. Repol Pablo. Aris Batanian. Rene Mace Mace all right, who did uh, who did Lily here? I could I could tell you who it wasn't. It wasn't Aris. Oh, Aris actually did bake. Go figure. The rest of Aris's characters you could guess: Armor King, Asuka, Dragon Off, Feng King, Miguel Wang. No surprise, Miguel was actually a surprise, but Wang is one of his mains. Let's see. Uh, okay, Bloodhawk did Lily, so we could blame Bloodhawk for this. Let's see, page 184. 184. This is the most fun I've had with this stupid book. Throw it in the trash. Alright, let's see what Bloodhawk has to say about Lily. Here's Bloodhawk's breakdown of Lily, the overview. Lily is a character that excels at evasion and punishment. She has one of the best side steps in the game, which allows her to get around attacks that other characters would have trouble avoiding. Well, so far, that still rings true for Tekken 7, right? Lily can frustrate her opponents by poking them down and then sidestepping their attempted retaliations effortlessly while launching them into the air. <laughs> Something about that wording. It's weird. She has good aerial combo versatility. And <laughs> this is like the something that was written for people who like never picked up a fighting game in their lives, right? She has good aerial combo versatility. <laughs> And when teen with the right partner, very high damage potential. She's still pretty high damage in this game, right? I don't know, even without the attack system. Key moves down forward one. Surprise, surprise, right? Quarter circle forward one, two. I haven't gotten there yet, but that is definitely a key move. Forward, forward, four. That's the root of evil. That's definitely a key move. 
Quarter circle four with three plus four. Still a great move in this game, right? I haven't gotten there yet, though. Down forward three. We just talked about that move. Up forward three. That's her hop kick. Down forward three plus four. Oh. Oh. The same moves. The same story. One game later. Forward three. That's her uh, homie move, right? Yeah, hope. Go forward three. And then forward two, four. Oh, sorry. Just standing two, four. That's her 10 frame punisher. Let's see what he says about 2-4. This two-hit high NC combo is little. I like how the, the introduction was like he went out of, they, like he or whoever wrote it went out of their way, whoever edited it, went out of their way to make sure it's like new player friendly to read. But then the moment you read this, he's talking about 2-4, he starts using all the tech and terminology. <laughs> this two-hit high NC combo is Lily's 10-frame standing Punisher. This move will knock down and wall splat. Which is rare for a 10 frame Punisher. Unfortunately, the range on 2-4 is quite poor and it will often not reach moves that it should be able to punish. In these situations, use 1-2 instead. But knowing what you can and cannot punish with 2-4 will be valuable information to you when opportunities arise. That still applies to this game. Thanks for writing the guide for me, Bloodhawk. You're, you're the real hero. You're the real MVP! Alright, let's look for... <laughs> this all of a sudden turned into Manny Biggs reads the shitty Tekken Tag 2 guide. Oh my god, where's the freight? It's a separate. Oh, it's separate. It's separate. Back turn options. Sorry, Lily's uh, back turn gives her several useful. Okay, whatever. Where's the frame data section? That'll tell me what I need to know. Alright, L, L, L. Lay? I never heard of him. Who the fuck is Lay? You guys hear of some guy named Lei? Alright. Uh, here he goes. Back turn towards the enemy. Oh, this doesn't save. It's a homing move. Fuck. Damn, the frame data doesn't say anything about move properties. I'm never gonna find out. Well, whatever. It was still a fun trip down memory lane. Let me put this uh, trash away. Oh shit! Cable tangled around my leg. Got it. Left side, it's the left side. We're shrinking that. <clears throat> well, it's a homie move. Now it's a homie move. Forget about tag two, trash two. It's in the past, it's dead and buried. Damn cables. Apple was right. We need wireless. It's still slow enough that you could step guard. So that's the important thing. Also, that's another new thing she could do, right? She could just corkscrew you with the back turn too. Ah, but that, that looked like a home move when I saw it before. All right, so she's still really weak to sidestep right. All right. Kick. What the fuck? Are you high, Lily?
Hold up a second. Is you have to delay the duck quite a bit. You have to do a deep step right. Wow, that's a big whiff. So side step right still works. Does it? So you can definitely OS it, you just have to do it with a weird ass timing. Yeah. You have to sidestep deep. Then you have to uh, stand block back. And then you have to down back right after. See, I knew I wasn't crazy. Thank you, video games. You didn't have to go that far, but I appreciate it. <laughs> See, I knew I wasn't crazy. Because the thing I remembered was that low sweep, it was very difficult to sidestep right. But you had, you could still do it. It was just a strict timing. And then everything else is lost to sidestep right. Either way it goes, you could still do a defensive movement OS to beat out pretty much anything that she swings with from back there. So, that's obviously not an easy thing to do. <laughs> so, you're not going to see it all too often. Even from good players. You might see them sidestep right. Thanks for the bits. I checked them out. Uh, I, I want my first back. Oh. <laughs> well, this is weird. Um, if you're going to follow this up on block, make sure it's like with a back turn jab or a down four. Now, I don't know if Lily's back turn jab works like uh, most characters, but in a lot of cases, back turn stand jabs are eight frames. I do not know if that's the case for Lily. Right? What the hell? <laughs> Thanks for the pits. Negative two, right? It was negative two up close. Oh, negative four. So yeah, see, I'm I'm right up in her face. So we could assume negative four, right? And then I'm doing a 12 frame move when she's at negative four, and she's exchanging. So her back turn jab is eight frames. Eight frames. She could block one plus two. She could block one plus two. I already talked about 12 frame mid beating on everything. She could uh, uh, turn around and stand block.
I don't know if she if she holds back, she might get hit. Let's see. Nah, she only gets hit with jabs if she holds back. Not even 11 frames. And the problem with that is one plus two is unsafe. So you don't want to just mindlessly throw out a 12 frame option. If you have a safe 12 frame mid option, that's not, uh, that cannot be low profiled by down three. Then that's a solid option in that situation. Cause then she kind of has to hold that shit by stand blocking every time you do that. Uh, every time she does that and you block it. <laughs> so yeah, it's a weird situation in general. If you're against, uh, if you're against Lily, but you got to understand that the situation is actually generally in your favor. You just got to know what to swing with. All right. So either way it goes, this is a very obnoxious move. It'll clip you from moving around carelessly from across the screen all fucking day. Which is exactly why Lily players love to randomly do it. And you gotta remember, because of the variable frame data, the variable active frames, it's even more rewarding to do it from space. Because she could end up being zero or plus one or plus two instead of negative four. So this move is fucked up. It's fucked up. She could hold down back to create that much space too. Which will duck your jabs. And then she has a, uh, that while standing too that moves her forward a lot. So easy with punish setup. Very easy. Very, very easy. Is it linear? Of course it's linear. Of course. But the thing is, if you move around carelessly, that doesn't matter. See? You have to time it. And then you have to be early, not slow. Usually I'm slow when I get clipped by this. It's because I'm being too slow. So you can't be careless. You have to do a lot of step guarding. When you're moving around from this range, <clears throat> don't get too cute with your side steps. Step guard and don't sidestep too much. Otherwise, that shit will randomly hit you. If anything, backdash. Get it around here and back, like try to get her to whiff it. You could get her to whiff it. Was that even a punish? The fuck? Oh my god, that wasn't even a punish that first time. That's crazy. It's a good thing Lily has a lot of range. <laughs> Easy whiff punish. <coughs> get your long range whiff punisher ready. <coughs> <laughs> Lily might be the most gormless member of the roster. I don't think she is. I think she's top five, though. Top five gormless members of the roster. Lily is definitely taking up either the third, fourth, or fifth slot. First slot is probably Ling Xiaoyu. Second slot would be... Somebody else that I'm forgetting. I gotta open up another playlist here. Well, since that was all Final Fantasy music, let's open up the Final Fantasy... 14 playlist? So yeah. Very, very, very cheap move. Just don't get too crazy with it. Don't rely too much on it. I know it's like a ridiculous thing to say because it's such a fucking good move. But you know. If you get to a point where you're fighting your opponent where all you got for them is wait back here and then randomly do that, then you kind of got nothing. You know? You might get lucky and clip them, but that's not much. That's not really a game plan either. Uh, anyway, next move on the list. Down one. This is high crush, but it crushes on frame 11, so it's a shitty high crush. Negative 11 on block, zero on hit. 10 damage. And then we got down to one. Low high. Counter hit. Right. Oh, she could recover crouching off of this. Nice. Considering it's zero. That's pretty cool. Ooh, she has a unique low.
So down two one four. If the second hit counter hits, the third hit combos. But not on regular hit. And of course this string corkscrews. Down two one if you hold back recovers back turn. Negative eight on block whether she recovers back turn or not. Gimmicky shit. This is gimmicky as fuck. But down two one four is safe on block at negative nine. What is Lily's bread and butter? I don't know what her good bread and butter is, but if you want an easy juggle that works off of most launchers, 4-1, down 2-2-3, two, 4-4-3, two, three. Four, four, three, hold forward, 1-2. When you do 4-4-3 four, four, and you hold forward, she goes into her cross dash. So you do one cross dash, 1-2, or roll dash, core super forward, 1-2, basically. So 4-4-3, four, four, hold forward, 1-2. Yeah, and you could just keep holding forward from the forward forward three. You don't have to like go back to neutral after the second forward. There. <clears throat> it's not much to say about down two one. I don't even know what the purpose is anymore. This used to be in DR, her juggle filler. If it was a low high natural combo, then there'd be something to talk about here. At least the low tracks to her right side. Huh, oh, but not walk. Doesn't jail. Yeah, that string sucks. I, I don't really know what the what the use is for that string anymore. Maybe some specific jungles. That's about it. Alright. <clears throat> Down two. So this is the uh, one from that juggle I just talked about. So down two, two. This is mid-high. And this is an actual natural combo. Mid-high. Alright. Down two, two, three. As uh, goes to a high. Or down two, two, four for a mid. Down 2 2 4 pushes back quite a bit, but it's negative 17. Down 2 2 3 is negative 3. Second hit, counter hit. Yeah, second hit, counter hit makes uh, both combo. Damn, down 2 has a lot of range. By the way, down one was uh, 18 frames. I didn't say that. Down two is 16 frames. I uh, can't tell if that homing. Okay, no. Okay, so nothing special on counter here for either option. So down two, two, three is mainly just a juggle filler. And you can mix up between this high and this mid if you want to use it in a neutral for people that duck. Let's see how to punish this because plus uh, negative 17 with pushback is. So Lily has that. And that. Nice long range. Ha ha. Her down four two has a lot of range too. Who has the best wall carry in the way in the game? Uh, I don't know. Everybody just has really good wall carry now, so I never really, I don't really consider that much, you know, a thing anymore. Like before, it would be Bruce, but he's not around, and I feel like so many characters could carry wall to wall. So I don't know if that's even like a thing that I consider. Like, nobody has issues launching from mid-stage and getting into the wall. That used to be a thing that characters had issues doing with, um, in DR, for example. At least getting a wall carry that gave you a wall combo <laughs> in the end. That was a thing that wasn't consistent in DR. That's why dash jabs were a thing in DR. They're not really much of a thing anymore unless you're a Kuma, I guess.
So down 2-2. Two, two. It's only negative 10. But it is mid-high. And it jails. All right, this is this is decent. I mean, sure, it's negative ten, and she's right in your face. So that could be bad for your health, depending on who you're fighting against, really. But um, it, down two has a lot of range. So this is kind of like Bob's down two one. And then if people block it, much like you could use this. Actually, not a thing about it. You could kind of use this exactly the way Bob uses down 2-1. For those of you who don't know, Bob's down 2-1 is a string kind of like this. It's mid-mid, though. But it's negative 10 on block. And it has a little bit more range. He hits it from, like, back here with it. And then, if you block it, he could do 2-2 two, two right after. Down 2-1, 2-1, down 2-2. Two, one, down two, one, two, two. And then the 2-2 two, two is a natural combo, but it's, like, negative 21 on block. Lily, you could do the same thing here. You could like fish for this as like a long range poke string. Down 2 2. Especially since it jails. And then it's negative 10. And then they try to swing. Bam! Or. Bam, right? I thought you could have drab interrupt either of those. Yeah. No jab interrupts here. But that is negative 17, right? Yeah, the kick is negative 17. He definitely can't step that either, right? Oh, I was off axis. Yeah, see? If you're off axis, gross. Yeah, she when she was off axis, she stepped it. But, of course, you could just duck it. Alright, so down 2-2 two, two is pretty good. In the neutral. It's not just a juggle filler. Unlike down 1-2. Down the down 2 by itself seemed to be decent at tracking, but if you try to follow it up with the second hit, it whiffs. Uh, the down 2 seemed to track to her right. 16 frame startup. I said that already. Mid-high. Next, we got down 3. Now, this is probably her primary just standard low poke. Uh, it's a bit on the slow side. Even though she visually hops, she's not airborne at any point. So there's no crushing and there's no floating her out of this. It's 19 frames. But it is only negative 12 on block. And uh, plus 1 on hit. And counter hit. So this is not particularly great. But it's good enough. Oh, bitch. He's fat! Thanks for the follow. <laughs> That was for Bob, that follow notification. The legend Scott Steiner. <clears throat> so, yeah, unfortunately, this is Lanier, though. So you got to use movement to help with this. Really, it just means that I guess it's not her primary low poke. It's just one of the low pokes you used to mix in with her other ones. Her primary low poke probably is Root of Evil, <laughs> which is kind of unfortunate. Damn, I, I thought that looks like it should track to at least one side, right? Maybe it's a Lily thing. Damn, and then you get back turn punish? Oh, man, that's fucked up. Poor Lily. Well, what can you do? So, down three is kind of whatever, whatever. Still, though, I mean, it is plus one. It's still usable. <clears throat> Next, we got Matterhorn. Matterhorn Ascension. That's what it's called. I knew it had like another word. <clears throat> this fucking. You want to talk about a gormless ass move? So I mentioned before that uh, Tekken started to get really fucked up with the mid ducking, the low profiling with Lily. Who got in added in DR, not in five, in DR. 
and she was the first one because before that outside of that, it would be shit like stances right like oh it makes sense relax stance makes sense L uh, lay uh, play dead makes sense aop it makes sense that they'll go under mids right but then, then all of a sudden this motherfucker comes along and then you get shit like this and then in Tekken 6, they like triple, quadruple down on that. And then all of a sudden, all these fucking characters have these launchers that just go right under your fucking mid poking. It's so fucked up. Super fucked up, right? And of course, it just means, oh, it's super unsafe on blind. It's not that big a deal, really, as this move in particular. It's not like a big deal. It's not as big a deal as it used to be, at least. Uh, but it's just, you know, it was the start, the beginning of this fucking obnoxious thing you had to deal with on playing second. And we saw it earlier. This shit went right under down forward one. No respect for mids. No respect at all. If you have a mid that doesn't have a good hitbox, that shit will fucking destroy it. It does not care. Especially if you sidestep into it. It's like, she don't care. She's Lily. It's just fuck you, right? <clears throat> In general, this is her highest damage launcher. At least on a normal hit. Oh, not even that. Not even that shit. The weird ass sweep from back turn couldn't go under that. Oh, I'm surprised. It tried to. You saw that, right? It almost. It, she almost made it. <laughs> she fucking almost made it underneath. Right underneath that shit. <laughs> It's super gormless. Oh my god, in a fucking 12 framer. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. If I didn't even think about that, you actually float her when you hit her out of it. You don't even get, they don't even have the decency of giving you a full, like, you counter hit that ass while she's standing. No, you float that ass if you fucking interrupt that shit. This move, it's so obnoxious, dude. Of course it's horrendous on block <laughs> oops okay yeah see there's no, no tracking and then on block it's like negative 100 or some shit right? why am I jumping um, on block it says here Matterhorn session negative 21 Okay, good. It does do more damage. I don't know what higher damage uh, launches she would have for. Does it? Does it launch punish itself? It does. 17 frames. Ooh, that's faster than I thought. 17 frames for a class three launcher. Yikes! That's a 17 frame punish, huh? Oh, I know what to do. Oops. Oops, I didn't hold forward. Shout out to Broadway. <laughs> he told me that juggle earlier, but off of a different launcher. So she gets it off of that too. 75 damage for 17 frames. No walls. So she gets a ton of damage. By the way, in case you've ever, you don't know, if you ever hear somebody call something like class, what was it? Class three or class one. I forget if higher the number, higher the launch. That's a class three launcher. Generally, the kind of launches you get that after is class three, I think is what they call it. Or class one, class three. Whatever. That's not, that's like an outdated term. Nobody says that shit anymore. Like Marduk's down back one plus two. So the easy juggle off of that. Let's see. Can she do down two after that or up forward one? Or up forward two? No, that's 
way too far. I mean, 73 damage is 72 less damage than the way harder jungle, right? So there you go. The hardest part of that jungle is probably getting used to the jumping uh, neutral jump. What do you call that? Neutral jump hop kick. It's not a neutral jump, but delay jump. Delay jump hop kick. There it is. Delay jump hop kick. I think that's, I think that's what they call that. So up forward, delay your four. Hold up forward. Delay your four. Uh, and then down. That was too much delay. Uh, once again, too much delay. Down two, two, three. Four, four, three. Hold forward. One, two. And then you get that shit. Damn. That low is good. Ah, uh, fucking Matterhorn. Well, that's that move. Um, I don't know if it's parryable or count. Well, not parryable. Counterable, reversalable, because she just swings upward to both her legs. So maybe it reverses my lose to it. She doesn't have one, right? She has that punch parry. That's it. Mm -mm -mm. Down back three is next. Ah, this one. She gets a guaranteed follow bonus, doesn't she? Probably that. All right, so down back three. That's a corkscrew. And then on counter hit, it's a corkscrew. It crushes highs. It crushes on frame six, it says here. She's crouching. Negative nine on block. Super linear. As you can see, if you try to like swing a one, two or jab string at her, you're gonna get murked. But if you just swing a one, you're good. But you only get a regular hit. Now then, we notice that kind of knockdown. So that means we have to check with the wall to the side. Whenever you see that kind of knockdown, you got to look for this stuff. The thing is, I don't know what she would pick up with if she could. This knocks down to her left side, right? Hey, you. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! We found a use for down two, uh, down one, two, four. Look at this. If only it was a homie move. <laughs> now, I don't know what you would do at, the, at an odd angle like that, but when you're facing each other... No, oh, that didn't work. That wasn't guaranteed. weird hey look at that <laughs> you might get a resplat things might get a little weird so even when you just face to face at the wall oh my god really interesting but mid stage definitely don't get shit Well, you get a down forward three plus four is my guess. All right, 
it's getting late. Also, I'm pretty sure my Twitch dashboard info froze on me. It says I've been streaming for an hour and five minutes, and I'm pretty sure that's bullshit. I'm pretty sure I've been going longer than that. I knew it! In the older games, if you were to hold back, this is one of those setups for down forward people's foot to float you. And with down forward people's foot to float you, she got to juggle in the older games. Either way it goes, down forward people's foot looks to be guaranteed there. Yep, it's guaranteed. Root of Evil might be guaranteed also. This fat son of a bitch. He's fat. Thanks for the follow. So, Root of Evil whiffed that one time. It randomly whiffed. But it's pretty consistent otherwise. I'm guessing it's because I got hit at the tip, maybe, or I didn't get hit up close. Man, she kicks so high. Fucking aiming for the clouds. Alright, well, outside of that one time, it's pretty consistent. Root of Evil, 444. Four, four. That's the follow up. Manny Biggs is a ball washer. Man. You outed my secret uh, night job. But I gotta pay the bills somehow, man. How else do you expect me to pay for this fucking... You see this shit I carry around for water? This isn't cheap. Damn it, man. Why are you judging me for? So it's best to step Lily counterclockwise? Counter... Oh, you're talking like a VF player here. Counterclockwise? Left or right? Counterclockwise, you're saying right. Uh, so far that appears to be the case, but I haven't gotten to a couple of key moves. For example, that. I remember JDCR talking about stepping her, and then he mentioned something about this move. He goes, like, you gotta step based on the move that she's doing. Like, sure, characters have weak sides, but if they're using the move that covers their weak side constantly, then what's the point of stepping in that direction? You get what I'm saying? down back three right it doesn't track at all but when their back is to the wall you could pick up with down one uh down one two four and depending on the angle you might get a juggle out of that so remember that even if you're on axis their back is to the wall down back three can give you guaranteed follow-ups well like different guaranteed follow-ups and then otherwise miss stage you could do a uh, Pretty deep dashing root of evil or down forward three plus four if you want something that's easier, less damage but easier to do. Oh, that floats, huh? So down three is also guaranteed. 11 damage. So that's actually even easier than the... Ooh, you know what? That's better. Actually, because you see the float, that opens up uh, her being kind of close to you. And it opens up your opponent being able to tech. Which gives you shit like this if you time it right, or if you dash or sidestep first. Yeah, let's do a little sidestep first and you'll catch him teching in either direction. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see? Just throwing a little sidestep first. Mm, oh. mm, 
I lost the link to the Discord. No idea how it happened, but I'm not in there anymore. Hmm. So anyway. What else am I looking at for here? So down three is definitely a better option to use. Next we got down back four, which is pretty much her snake edge. It looks like it has shitty range. I remember having more range. Whatever. So this shit <clears throat> is 30 frame startup. So you got to be able to see this negative 24 on block. Star Struggle, it's basically her snake edge. You know what's up. It gives her a juggle. She recovers standing, apparently. What was the juggle last time? Counter hit. You can't make that work out of that? Maybe not. Maybe not with a standing four, at least. Ah, she gets super low to the ground and goes under some mids. She sure does, but not only that. If she spaces it, she goes under the kind of mids that you wouldn't expect her to go under also. Which is why I was kind of shocked when I just noticed how uh, sh shitty the range looks now. Oh, another thing about down four people's four is you don't have to worry about low profiling because it's basically a stomp. Oh, standing three works pretty good. Nope, never mind. So you get the idea here. This is a move that like shitty Lily players like to sidestep into. To get that extra evasiveness with it. What's up, Bison? <clears throat> but yeah, it's a home. It's basically a snake edge. It's homing. And uh, no matter if it hits shallow or not, she's going to get a full juggle. Why sidestep Snake Edge when you can sidestep Matterhorn? Because you gotta mix it up, man. Matterhorn's a mid. <laughs> back four <laughs> is a low. You gotta mix it up. Can you believe some guy uh, in uh, Discord tried to... Uh, this guy... Try to argue with me that... Orbital Heal... And... Snake Edge is a legitimate mix-up. I struggle with down four three plus four. I talked about it earlier, Bison. And Bison, it's uh, aren't you in the uh, era second Discord? I'm talking about death. You try to argue that with me in the old forums. So anyway, down four three plus four still loses the sidestep right. <clears throat> uh, the only thing is it gets weird because if she does the up forward four back turn hot kick, it's gonna beat you sidestepping to her left. And then, of course, they made this the down 3 plus 4 from back turn homing move now. But it's slow. So you kind of have to do a weird OS style shit to beat out both of those options. So, yeah, you know who I'm talking about. It was, it's death. <laughs> Tekken Zaibatsu mod himself. Trying to tell me 
that Brian's orbital heel at Snake Edge is a 50-50. So you see? That tracks that direction. So it's good. Uh, basically what I, 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 I went through this earlier, but if you do like a sidestep a right, cancel to stand block, and then crouch block, You'll beat out the back turn hot kick and the uh, back turn homing low. Maybe his reflexes hinders his reaction time, so it's a 50-50 to him. I think that's what he was trying to argue, but he was doing a very poor job at it. It was like, yeah, if you if you can't see those, it's a 50-50. And I think he brought up online, like that fucking matters. Like, who gives a shit? You gotta see that stuff. The people that try to get away with that online, that's not going to carry them to the top. And that's, that shouldn't, in the long term, be the thing that holds you down. That's not an excuse. Yeah, every once in a while, you're going to get hit by dumb shit online. So what? Just keep playing and keep doing the right thing. You'll win more often than you lose in the long run by doing the right thing. <clears throat> uh, anyway. So we were talking about Edelweiss. That's the name of that move, right? Yeah, Edelweiss. Isn't that a German word? And isn't she French? French. <sighs> 30 frame startup, so block that shit, please. They made that shit like 24 frames, I think, in Tag 2, but it only lost on counter hit. <laughs> oh, what a low poke, that Edelweiss. Amazing low poke. Down back three plus four is next. This is her knockdown low. That is horrendous on block. And if you try to hold back, I think that's what happens. This was happening to me a lot when I try to stand up and block. So now we're gonna find out together. Nope, nope, that's not the move. Is that guaranteed? Ah, you can't hold back. So if you try to tap up, that's what happens. If you try to wake up kick, that's what happens. Okay, so basically, hold back. Interesting. But on counter hit is where things change, right? That's what she gets an actual juggle out of that with while standing too. Phoenix Rising, calling Snake Edge one of the best low pokes. He really did that? Ugh. Maybe in Tekken 3 when it didn't knock you down on normal hit. I don't know what the end there would be there. So yeah, this low on counter hit gives you a full juggle. As far as what the best juggle would be, I don't know. That doesn't work. Oh no, wrong move. Wait, no, it's down two on four because they're low to the ground, right? No. Eh, 60 damage. Mix it up with Root of Evil. Might have yourself a whole neutral. <laughs> Matterhorn Snake Edge is the real big brain 50 50. <laughs> Matterhorn, the greatest of mid pokes. It low profiles other mid pokes. Therefore, it beats all mid pokes. Therefore, it is the best mid poke, right? A simple math. <clears throat> so this crush is on frame six. This is a good low. It's risky, but there, I don't think there's any at this point. I'm not sure if there's any knockdown lows that are truly say uh, not launch punishable on block. In one in one way or another, whether it's because it's a low high like Steve's down back three two, or if it's some other reason, they tend to be launch punishable on block. Wow. 
That looks guaranteed too. For 14 damage? Jesus. Oh, that's just you getting crazy. Oh my god. That would be fucked up. With the way my fingers work, I'm trying to do down back 3 plus 4 and I get down back 4. Oh god, don't do it. Don't do it. That looks very guaranteed. No, it doesn't. I lied. I lied. You can stay down. <laughs> alright, alright. There we go, nine damage, not bad. Can't be greedy, take what you can get. That is probably guaranteed. Cause that is grounded. So yeah, down back keepers four is good. I'm pretty sure it's linear. Yeah, that's one of those. So if you get around it and you try to launch her, you gotta have something with a decent hitbox. Otherwise, it'll go right over her. Low profiling bitch. All right, next on the list, we have back one, which has an extension. Back one four, which is natural combo. The range isn't particularly great. She looks like she's ducking, but it says here that she doesn't. She's not considered ducking at any point. Let's see if this goes under jabs. It seems like if you space it, it, could, it gets a tiny, teeny, tiny bit evasive. My dashboard is stuck, so I'm going to refresh my dashboard real quick, all right? Hold on. Oh, fuck. It's 9, 12. I got to go out. I knew it. It is frozen. I've been at it for three hours. Fuck me. Ugh. Ugh. All right, this is going to have to be a two-parter. This should have been a one-parter, really, but I got too <laughs> caught up in other shit. <laughs> and then, uh... But it was good shit. Busting out that strategy gun. It's good shit. All right. Let's talk about back one real quick here. All right. So, back one, you can hold forward to go into a cross dash. Uh, back one on hit is plus two. If you hold forward, plus nine. What? Plus nine? Plus nine. That's weird. On block, it's plus one. So that's like, that's going to exchange with, wait, hold up. Okay, she convert that. No, no, not with that. Down one. <clears throat> oh, block you idiot. Oh, why she she's not doing it? I gotta mash it faster. No. It knocks her too far. 
That would be sick, right? <laughs> Maybe down four, three plus four. Just mash it out to see if she could convert. Alright, it looked like it might have been... No, I could check that. I could check that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think she's just too far. I don't think she could uh, get any sort of conversion, just any sort of pickup off of that. Still, that's uh, that's pretty good. That's definitely an exchange in her favor because her while standing four, 18 damage. Her jab, seven damage. I mean, counter hit was it 21? 21 damage. That's probably gonna be an exchange in her favor, no matter. Yeah, definitely gonna be an exchange in her favor, no matter who gets hit by it. Right. And then I'm pretty sure this is a popular setup, right? That's a thing I've definitely seen happen on block before when fighting other lilies online. <clears throat> but now, and now I know why they do it. Gigas might be able to stuff it with those long ass arms, maybe. No, it's not about long arms. It's about the frames. She's only plus one. While standing four is 11 frames, so a jab is going to exchange with her. The thing about her while standing four, though, is it knocks you into the air. It's a pretty uncommon thing. Oddly enough, it's mostly female characters that do this with their while standing four. I don't know why. I don't make the rules, man. Email Harada. Her wall standing four looks super linear. Name of the game with Lily. Anyway, back one four is a natural combo mid mid. It is negative 11 on block. That's a pretty good risk to take for 38 damage, if you ask me. 17 frames to start up on this. So if you size up up close, that's not a bad idea. It's only negative 11 if you happen to catch on. You'd have to do it off of a read though, because it's too slow. 17 frames is too slow to size up and react. On a whiff, unless it's a huge whiff. <clears throat> and she could delay that? Oh, not that. She could totally delay that shit. Alright. Yet another thing to stop. Ooh, 26 on counter hit? Damn, it may not be a launcher. That looks like good wall carry. So if you do like a full, um, I don't know. Yeah, that looks like good wall carry. Depending on how many hits you did before that. Damn, what was the channel? Forgot the juggle. String. Right after I did it, I got it and I totally forgot the string. Okay. I can see why you Lily players don't do this online. Yeah, no good. So if you do f uh, five hits, post launch five hits. You're good, but if you do that was six hits, you're no good for that. For Walker. <laughs> Lily players only play with one hand. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, see? If you add one extra hit to that, they're gonna be too far after the back one hits them. 16. Oh, that's more damage than 443. Go figure. Uh. 
Maybe not. See, I don't know if this back one cancel is new or not. Can't do the slide out of that. I'm trying to do this slide. Oh wow! So yeah, you you could just do the generic low, which is oh no no. That's pretty good. That's gonna frame trap any mid, right? Yep. Yep, my cross jab is gonna beat it out. So all frame lows, baby. That is the low version also, so... Yeah, that's the crouching version, so it's negative 15 instead of negative 13. That's negative 13 from standing. It is new, oh, okay. Gotcha. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good little, like, uh, it's still kind of gimmicky, but it's not as gimmicky as the other stuff because you have a legitimate okayish deterrent in uh, the while standing four. But, let's see. Oh, boy. You can't step that? Oh, you can. She could step it left. All right. And the back one forward. This is a great move. I don't know if this whole new move is is uh, is new or not, or if it's just like the cancel that's new. But back one forward is a pretty good move, if you ask me. A lot of damage, only negative 11, mid, mid. A lot of knockback. Oh boy. <laughs> A free reset if they stay down. If they stay down. Oh man, they get to eat shit. What's the pickup? There it is. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Don't stay down. <laughs> Don't stay down. I have to do down forward, right? I think it's down forward jab. Or oh, delay it. Maybe don't delay it. Damn, her legs make it weird. get it that one time oh don't do down forward do down one oops damn it lily You guys are still dueling it out. Thanks, bro. consistent conversion would be if I could just stand jab after that I could get was it a forward three it would probably be shitty damage but damn doesn't look like she can 
Well, all right. Well, all right. Um, that's worth exploring more for sure. That sort of pickup. And then if they do tech. Let's try this then. <sighs> She's safe. It's a free whiff. Free whiff. I guess you're wondering why she got hit by that slower option because I'm holding forward to, for too long. So I actually walk into it there. That's why. I'll turn around the slow way just to see. Ah, oh, she's good, see? It's pretty good. Pretty good. Then it just becomes, uh, what are you going to chase them down with if they stand block, right? Nope. Oh, <laughs> that looks good. Alright, of course it's still not safe, but the point being you could chase them down with a low. Which means you could definitely chase them down with a mid. Oh, bad timing. a little early I think yep okay so you're actually unable to stand up and swing there it will force you to block it's a weird thing that they put in the game for text uh, I think I don't figure that's always been there. It might have always been there. There's a window where if you try to get up swinging, it just makes you block. Um, but if you get up ducking, thinking the low is coming, that shit is gonna kick you in the face. So this back one four has like legit mix-ups, legit 50-50s, legitimate, legitimate. 50-50s on uh, tech, on a teching opponent. The thing is, you have to go in with dashing, assuming that they're going to tech. If you dash in and they stay down, you have to change up your game plan, because if you fuck up, right? I mean, it's not a big deal, because the low needs a counter hit to be scary. So you get what I'm saying? So by the time you run in and you see that they stay down, if you do a low then, or some a sort of attack then, then you might get eaten up by counter hit low. So my suggestion is if you dash up and you notice they stay down, consider doing down forward three plus four. Because that low crushes, right? Right? That's a nice little delay I put in there. Oh, he stayed down, so let me do something different. See? You can't do a wake up kick super fast in situations that you could tech in. You could do the wake up kicks faster in situations that you cannot tech and due to a, sp a spike down. But when you get floated on the floor in a situation where you could tech, you have to wait a bit before you could do those other options. But then if you do the delay thing, thing there, they still have to block it, it looks like. That's a great option. Because then if they tech, you dash, they have to block it still. Really, really, really good Oki. 
And this is the thing I gotta look out for her in general with her knockbacks. She might even have that in the knockbacks I went through earlier. Shit, uh, sorry. Shit like this, she might have it. That might be too far, though. That might be too far, but it might... I think she could still do it. I ain't checked this before. So, the next time I come back, I definitely have to check... Remember to check this. See? You just have to dash deep. So I definitely have to check this shit next time I do this. But I'm going to call it there because it's 9.30. And I do want to go out for a nice jog. In the nice, nice, nice cold night along the river. Where I get to uh, enjoy the view of the dead bodies floating in the East River. Nah, I'm kidding. That was back in the 80s. You kids wouldn't know.